on this day of all days, I figure is the perfect time to reach out to, to my secret Valentine. Um, no, not my extremely real girlfriend, who's definitely from Canada. No, I mean, my one true love. The one person who has brought joy and happiness to my life in such a way that I'm just... I, I can't keep it in anymore. Pod, will you be my Valentine? And w will you will you actually make this a good freaking game so I can actually enjoy it? And not have to, like, bring out the baseball bat, Todd. You don't want me to bring out the baseball bat, Todd, do you? I haven't even reviewed Skyrim yet. I know that's not going to do well. RSVP. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. No, no preamble. Although, I did a little math. This game was in development for eight years. That's all I really feel the need to say about that. This is game was in development for eight years. Before we go any further, shout outs and thank yous to two base master, Arathrobo, Bragwin, Caspian, Churen, Korgoth, Krenzler, Diabepus, Dream Whisperer, Dr. Winter, DZ Maven, Ethan Dowie, Evo Iliani, FM Aylward, FN Craig, Frieza, Guinevere, History Maker, E Tree, Jesse's Mask, Justin T, 1977, Cashel Gladio, Mega Man, yes, really, Metroid Hanar, Mike Romano, Mr. Red, M. Sonda, Nadaz, Nemesis, Panka, Papanix, Pesnator, Fife, Pixel Place, Poilicas Jalou, Race Cat, Retro Justice, Ryman, Shikor, Shishki, Sputniklok, Kemek, The Castle Maker, The Wizard of Pog, Timonash, Tonic the Dog Tor, Venters, Varigalian, Vigilant, Ginger Ninja. Before you ask, none of these are dealer's choice. The person who put this game on the list, which is Command and Conquer 2, and our majority shareholders, which include Zeiss. Hang on, there's a few. Man with Eel, Johnny Bigby, Golvig, and Eclectic Oak. Thank all of you very, very much for your support and for making this run happen. I should mention really quick, just as an amusing thing, this game took 635 days to fund, which is honestly a little above average, but kind of average for a really, really long game like this one, because I anticipate this being a long game. What I find most amusing about this particular run is that the reason that none of those are dealer's choice is because people regularly and, and, and consistently donating towards the game up until it came out. And then, for some reason, donations started drying up for it. I'm not implying anything. I am stating fact. Now, having said that, we did obviously still get donations after the game came out, because this game got funded, like, a couple weeks ago by Zeiss. You know, just pushed it over the line. It was already pretty close. Yeah, by the way, um, don't anticipate this being an ultra-long playthrough. I'm not, I'm not going to take that long in Skyrim. I'm not going to take that long here. All right. Now we need to 100% make sure that it's centered and set up properly. I had a couple of issues earlier. So give me just one moment, please. Yeah, no, I, I, I doubt we're going to be here as long as Persona 5. Hell, I doubt we're going to be here as long as StarCraft 2. I'm so sorry, AppDev. Do you want me to delete those? I can delete those immediately to make sure that they never bother you again. 
Actually, you know what? Instead of that... Oh, by the way, that's another thing I should say. Obviously, anybody who's been following me for any length of time, which is probably only about a half the people who are currently here right now, knows that uh, I don't really have any positive or negative thoughts going into this particular game. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's absolutely true. See, the thing is, normally when I'm walking into a game, uh, I do try to pay at least a little bit of attention to what's going on with it, how and why, and all those fun things. But whenever there's a game, doesn't matter what the game is, whenever there's a game, all right, that's better, that just has such a strong opinion going in both directions, I just, it all just kind of becomes noise to me. And, and I know, for those of you who follow me, I've already said this. Uh, this is for those of you who do not follow me. Um, anytime I hear a game, it's, oh, it's the greatest game ever. Oh, it's the worst game ever. Oh, it's the greatest. Oh, it's the worst. I immediately just kind of zone it all out. Because that means it's time for me to make up my own mind. Because most of the people arguing about it, to be very frank, probably aren't actually debating it. They're just yelling at each other. So... With that in mind, I actually have no particular opinion walking into this game. Only the fact that I will make up my own opinion as we go. Now let me make sure that's where it should be, and that's where it should be. And this is where it should be. Yeah, I know, it's weird, Colgram. It happens weirdly often. People just yell at each other on the internet. Who knew? Um, considering most people complain that I'm too loud, Canada Bangs, that's a very strange question. Um, is your... So what method are you watching me, Canada Banks? If I'm just in, like, your browser, you might have turned down your browser's audio. I think Skyrim was representative of Elder Scrolls Six, Bamber. Well, there's a reason I'm not checking out the options yet. It's because if I'll tab, the game freezes. Which, as usual, is a negative to gameplay. Or, or I could get sub-bombed out of absolutely nowhere by people who don't normally watch me. <laughs> What's up, Crimson? It has been a minute. Three thoughts on the game. I kind of already gave them. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix it, Kim. Oh, and for the record, obviously we're not using any mods. Duh, as the saying goes. Thank you very, very much, Krenzler. Always appreciate it. I have jotted that down for the Tales of Berseria, Dragon Quest XI, and Empire of Sin. And... Thank you very, very much, Ryman. Always appreciate I'll put that towards the BRPG block, Republic Commando, and KOTOR 2. Thank you, both of you. Yeah, no, I'm walking in neutrally, and that's my pre-thoughts. Any questions? Took him eight years to make this. Set ENI setting be always active general one. Okay. No, whatever. And then I uh, save I and I. Yeah. 
now we can all tab. And that is our very first gameplay positive, by the way. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, eh, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. <clears throat> yeah, I already don't like the dialogue. I'm gonna open with that. Weirdly, for a game that took this long to make, that sounds like dialogue that needs a couple more passes. It's obvious what they were going for. Banter. These are co-workers who've worked together a long time, blah blah blah. But that's just very stilted. So we'll jump down to potential negative right now. But no, obviously I'm joking. Freezing while alt-tab is not a negative. As much as I would absolutely love to give that negative to every game that does it, because I hate it. But no, we're not doing that. What I am doing is giving a console positive for console commands. Now, here's the really strange part. I'm not sure how many yet. If you remember, we have only a little bit of precedence with this because uh, we have very few... Yeah, Panko, wow, it's fun to... Uh, we have very few uh, games that have the built-in uh, console commands that we've covered. In fact, I believe the only one we've actually covered that does, does that is Oblivion. So, just thank you very, very much, Dankawink. Always appreciate your support. Thank you. Uh, give me a moment to jot that down. What about StarCraft? No, StarCraft has a chat program which you can use to input cheats. That's not actually a console command. Console is a little bit differently. Um, console is where you can input actual uh, command, essentially admin commands. Take to, take a degree of control over the game itself. Um, Neverwinter Nights would get a console thing. Um, you know, every BRPG will get a console thing. And I actually can't think of any other of those off the top of my head, but there's a few. Um, the thing is, how many positives a particular game gets for this console uh, being active, being available, kind of depends on how well it's designed in the game. So, for example, and we talked about this uh, when it came to Oblivion, I believe. Oblivion has a decent console command, but it's not super intuitive if you don't actually already know what you're doing. If you, if you walk into it from, out, from within the game and you're like, hey, by contrast, now we haven't covered Skyrim yet, but Skyrim has a much stronger uh, console command because it's searchable and sortable. And so you can actually look for commands. You can you can peruse it and browse it and use it to do all kinds of things. And you have a tremendous amount of control over the game within the game. And again, that's the kind of thing you can intuit and learn in the game, which is the thing that affects the review, right? So Skyrim is going to score really well on the console command when we get there. Which is why we need to poke at this one to figure out where, where this one's at. I'm playing catch up a little bit here. Do apologize. These are good questions, Crazy Norse. The Invincible 
uh, what's the Invincible? Oh, whatever, we'll put Cyberpunk, definitely. Um... Hang on. Sounds familiar. Well, it's on the list. Okay. That's... That's the... That's like the one, the horror game on Mars or something, isn't it? I'm trying to remember. It's been all... Either way, thank you very, very much, Kevin. For your support. I do appreciate you. And Panka, I gotta actually scroll up to see what you did. Let's see. A sub bomb. No! Uh, Hitman 3 and the Expanse Stream of Nations. Remember, you can pick a third thing if you want to. That also goes for you too, Danko. Um, so would Source Games count for console? That's a good question. I also don't know if Source, uh, if like the uh, the Paradox games would count either. So, not sure about any of that. We'd have to do more research again. Having a console itself is neat and all, but we've reviewed games that have a console, or more accurately, we've actually reviewed games which, for example, um, you have to go and do an I and I edit in order to access the console. For the record, if you have to go do an I and I edit outside of the game to access the console, it gets no credit for it whatsoever. That's pretty standard. Um, I don't remember what we did for Crusader Kings 3. So we're definitely going to do... Let's definitely cheat. Console commands. And I'll put some question marks there to see how that is. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestyle Collective Space? Two away. A job like this in the United Colony? <laughs> Anybody else getting Star Trek 6 vibes? Calva! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big thing you looked at? Yes, ma'am. I was going to say, mining a non oxygen area would be safer in several ways. Now, it would also be dangerous in several ways. That's what a trade off is, but yeah. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. So, ammunition. Uh, magazine rounds, rate of fire, range, accuracy, mass, value, and mods. Not bad mouse over information. I like it. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Hey, watch it! Sorry about that. No, yeah, that that's a good that's a good mouse over. I like that. Stream. <laughs> Thank you, Casual. Thank you. I'm busy. What else to bother? I mean, I can't save yet, which is a really weird thing, by the way. So I'm a little bit uh, uncertain about killing spreeing right here. 
but you know, let's do it, die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Hey, watch it. He's essential. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. I just killed you. Okay, okay. We've had the essential discussion several times. Allow me to go ahead and say that on the one hand, I do understand the desire to have some essential NPCs. I do. But this will come up during the BRPG block. The older I get, the more I'm in favor of not doing uh, essential NPCs, except in really specific circumstances where you kind of want to. Let me explain that really quick. By saying thank you very, very much, Bella. Always appreciate. I'm walking in pretty damn blind, Panka. I only know one thing that uh, that's a spoiler for this game. I put that towards Kingdom Hearts blocks, Mario Karts, and Ratchet and Clank. Thank you. So, no, no, not like a king or an emperor, but two things. Two things I would do. First, the Morrowind method. When you kill someone who is flagged as essential, or, or rather, who could be flagged as essential. A pop-up says, hey, you're screwed. Undo. Now, Mar the way Marwin did that isn't actually perfect, if I could be blunt. I know several people, including me, um, who looked at that and were like, huh? And didn't actually understand what that message actually meant. I would make it a little bit more video gamey. You've just killed a major character. You probably can't continue through the game normally. If that's cool, cool. If not, would you like to reload? Nice big pop-up. Only do it once. Do it the one time, and then you're cool. Let the player do whatever they want to. They just can't progress the game at that point. Um, having said that, I can think of circumstances, probably individual scenes or, or areas, where having an essential flag would actually be really, really nice. Let me use an exact example. Oblivion, the charge through the city, the Emperor. There's no real reason for Martin to lose his essential flag for that particular sequence, which he does, it's worth noting. Instead, I would actually maintain an essential flag for that section because the, the, the charge through the area is so chaotic and the engine is, let's be honest with itself, that engine, that it's really easy for him to die to something that has nothing to do with anything, something that is totally out of the player's control. Through, through no screw-up of their own, Martin can die during that sequence, and that sucks. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel naturally dynamic or fluid. That feels like, oh, the game screwed up, right? And when you're dealing with a BRPG, you have to know that your game is going to be that fluid and dynamic. So, for specific scenes, absolutely do some kind of essential flags to make sure that certain characters can't or won't die, because otherwise the whole thing just kind of falls apart, right? But then, for just like roaming the world, sure, do whatever. Just have the pop-up, we're good. Uh, this is the first game to use the Creation Engine 2, I believe. Which is, I'm pretty sure, based on, you know, the engine of Doom. Let Hella do his job. This is delicate. Yeah, exactly. The essential flag itself is fine, I think. I'm not actually sure, Savakam. The only thing I know is that we are down inside something. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. What, can't you, Anosians? We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? 
Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Well, let's go interact with the ancient artifact that's going to imbue us with the knowledge in order to be able to access the aliens in order to make us essential to the main story quest. And no, I wasn't spoiled in this game. Weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. As I say, I'm just reciting Mass Effect 1 at this point, right? <laughs> Do you see anything? Yeah, no, I in, in all honesty, if I was predicting here, I would say they're lending us in by ourselves. Because we're the new kid, remember, we're new to this mining, mining drill operation, and that means we are unexperienced, and therefore probably the most expendable here. So, that's cool. No, I have actually managed to go almost completely unspoiled with this game. Um, however, for those of you who don't follow me on Discord, follow me on Discord? For those of you not part of my Discord, let's put it that way, um, I made a prediction about the story, or about how I would perceive the story of this game like two and a half years ago. Actually, I think it might have been longer ago than that. And I'm just going to repeat it now because I still stand by that prediction. I think that the main story quest in this game will kind of suck. I think that it will be okay, but ultimately just kind of weird and not really well designed and not really engaging. I also predict that most of the side stories will be kind of awesome. That there will be several little individual quests or individual side bits or character tidbits that I'm going to be completely into and very invested in. This is not really a big surprising prediction to make, of course, because I've played Bethesda games before. I've played, yeah, Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Points made. Also, arguably Oblivion, although I do actually like the MSQ and Oblivion. But the fact remains, Bethesda tends to do the side stuff pretty well. That's been true for a really long time, for like 20 plus years at this point. So, that is my honest prediction. I'm not expecting to fall in love with the MSQ. I will be legitimately surprised if it catches me. There have only been two, well, let's say two and a half MSQs in, uh, in Bethesda games that I've actually really enjoyed. Oblivion, Morrowind, and about the first half of Fallout 3. Although, in the interest of fairness, even Fallout 4, which I consider to be have a fairly weak MSQ, is actually pretty strong up to a certain point. No spoilers, of course. Well, New Vegas is a certainly valid game to bring up, and definitely not a game made by Bethesda. As Mike Romano says, well, MS New Vegas is a very valid game to make up, but not a game made by Bethesda. <laughs> it brought us. Yeah, that's Obsidian, for those of you not aware. I don't blame you, it is a BRPG, and we will. it is a part of the BRPG block. We'll be doing Morrowind, Skyrim, uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, I believe, is the BRPG block. <sighs> Thank you again, Denka, very, very, very much. Always appreciate. I will add Yakuza Kiwami 2 to that list. You still got a third thing if you want to. All right, so let's go get this ancient artifact that's going to imbue us with power and... The Reapers! The Reapers are coming! Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, by the way, I'm really proud of you. No one's asked why I don't have the coat on. For the curious, it's it's in the laundry. Everything! They're coming! Dusty! Yep, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I saw nothing. My bad, I saw nothing. Um... What was it? That was a sub. From Ross. Thank you, Ross. Very, very, very much. <laughs> I would have given this game credit. Not actually joking. If that turned into the, hey, you, you're finally awake. Not even joking. Not even joking. Thank you very much for the sub, Ross. Um, do I think Obsidian has a similar flaw? 
Let's look at Obsidian Games for a second, because we've got uh, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2. Um, eh. Then we have Tyranny. Eh, Tyranny had a decent MSQ. In fact, I'd say Tyranny is probably one of the stronger MSQs. KOTOR 2 had a pretty strong MSQ. Um, God, what else? Uh, Neverwinter Nights 2 had a pretty weak MSQ until you got Mask of the Betrayer. Then it had a pretty strong MSQ. Stick of Truth actually had a surprisingly good MSQ. Then again, that game was weirdly good. I don't think anybody expects, expected Stick of Truth to be as good as it was. Um, Outer Worlds had a well-done but very vanilla MSQ. I enjoyed Outer Worlds, for the record. I actually really liked Outer Worlds. Um, yeah, exactly, Chemic. They could have been like... There you Finally awake. And then, and, ah, come with us, come with us. Just like Grounded. Grounded had a good MSQ. I was surprised. Grounded had a strong story axis. That's something I expect in that kind of game. And then again, Grounded is probably the best uh, survival, I guess it would be a survival builder game I've ever played. Yeah, I know, right, TSB? You got it, Ross. This is what I was actually waiting for. Ruby, Stream of Nations, One Shot, and Star Trek. Resurgence. Alpha Protocol. Alpha. Agreed, Jalito. Alpha Protocol was more innovative than it was good. My opinion. Uh, granted, I haven't played it for about 10 years at this point. Um, but yeah, no. I, Alpha Protocol was like, wow, they're keeping track of so much and it's so cool. And it, it's like, yeah. But then the game kind of sucks. <laughs> you know? I'm even talking about the bugs. Oh my god, the bugs. All right, so. Let's get this out of the way, by the way. I like the NASA Punk look. This game's probably going to do decently on the visual side of things. Let's just get that out of the way. So let's just jot down some thoughts about brickwork and visual design. Yeah, no, Outer Worlds was too real. And if you, if you haven't played Outer Worlds, I won't spoil... But I do recommend it. It's a solid game. Oh, by the way, NASA Punk is not my terminology. They said that. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? I tried to put you back, get together back as well as I could. You got shot in the forehead. All right, so um, let's play around with character creator. We're super skinny. Wait, no, we're we're all the things. Um, that's pretty gross here. Could have gone my whole life. You don't have to, Panka, but. Is Stray Gods on the list? Diesel Punk's cool too. I like Diesel Punk, but of course I do. I like Final Fantasy VI. Let's see, Stray Gods. It is on the list. What do you know? What the heck is Stray Gods? Either way, I'll put that towards it. Stray Gods, done. I mean, the character creator in Fallout 4 was legit. And I have very up and down feelings on, on that particular game. Let's kind of go over here-ish. Let me go over here. I don't know. Well, first of all, let's do... Uh, there we go. Why does my walking style matter? Uh, game. There we go. Game. Game. Okay, fine. I'll use the keyboard. I'm gonna go about there. Let's fix your hair. Your hair is terrible. Just, just actually terrible. We like to eat Subway here.
Thank you for getting that reference. Didn't I just do skin tone? God damn it, game. All right, so gonna be real. Don't like this interface. It's like not quite mousy. And it, like I can't drag, right? I'm I'm trying to drag the the thing across. All I can do is click. Let's see. So I have to actually use keyboard. Pretty common Bethesda complaint I tend to have. Again, Skyrim is probably the worst one I've encountered with that regard. Like, I actually had issues playing Skyrim because of how console it was designed. We'll go over here. And thank you very, very much, Baron, as always. If you give me a moment. Oh, that sounds like fun, Mike. Come on. Baron's putting that towards Mortal Kombat 10. Kirby Block. Yakuza. Iwami 2. Done. Um. Like, if you want to call me fat, you can call me fat. You'd be wrong, but it is your right to be wrong. Mortal Kombat X Kirby. I mean, I'd play that. Let's try not to be norted here. I think super cool, so I'll just go with my own eyes, which I don't see here. Seriously, I don't see my eyes here. For those of you not aware, and it's it's easy for you to not know this, I actually have pretty green eyes, like shockingly green eyes, especially if you see it in the sunlight. I guess that's as close as we're gonna get. Is my head so big? It's just weirding me out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back over here for a second. Let's make us big and fat. Oh yeah. No, we're like up here. Eh, a little more like there. There we go. What is with our forehead? Okay, so uh, big old honking nostril. That's a good question, Baron. I don't know. Oh my god, can I get some music, please? <laughs> uh, let's go with something appropriate. That's a little better. We could do Marlin, but I think this is more appropriate. Oh yeah, that's me in real life. 
my teeth are pretty white. Big honking neck, which I am constantly embarrassed by. Scars, y'all know I love my scars. I like the claw most so far. Big with Two Face. Let's go with the classic. I actually don't have many freckles, or wrinkles, excuse me, not freckles. Oh, there we go. Much better now. Hey, much better. Oh, yeah, get some dirt in there. Perfect. Yeah, let's see. How good is Dragon Age 4 today? Well, apparently Dragon Age 4 is good today. No, yeah, I actually I have really good and really smooth skin. I don't really wrinkle much. I have people who've told me that I look pretty much the same as I did about 10 years ago. Whether that's true or not, who knows. Now, hang on. Let's see if we can refine this. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's hideous! It's hideous! Um, oh, my Tim and Cashel. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see. Will Dragon Age 4 come out today? It will not, but it was a good game. And then it was canceled for tax reasons. I feel like that's decent. I still wish our forehead wasn't so big. Like, look at me. I. Listen, Zeiss, if you hate Stellaris that much, then why don't you marry it? Thank you very, very much, Mizuno Speedruns. Always appreciate it. If you know up to three things you want to put that towards, please let me know. Whoops. Do that correctly this time. There we go. That's probably as good as that's getting a watch. We're never going to see it again, of course. Because this is a BRPG. You never see yourself. That's not the point of this. Why is there character creator in these games? I don't mean to sound negative. Why is there character creator in these games? File not found. Yes. <laughs> okay, hang on. So we gotta do <laughs> we gotta do the glare sound like percent. Um and then Pokemon Violet and then Fire Emblem Three Houses. You got it. Thank you again, Mizuno, very much. 
Uh, hit me, Colgram. Why not? But we never see it, Blades of Fall. Like, it's... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. This has always bothered me. That you just... You don't see your own freaking character. Um, hang on a sec. Ooh, chef. Astronomy. Yeah, I thought File Not Found was going to be um, Choose, but it looks like that's just wellness, ballistics, and piloting. Then again, Cyberpunk made the exact same mistake. I'm sure you can go third person and see the back of your head. Or whatever helmet you have on. I'm looking. Okay, so we've got Scoundrel. Hang on, let's look at our options. Scoundrel. Long Hauler. One of the few jobs I've never done in real life. Uh, bounty Hunter. Yeah, it looks like that. So, Bounty Hunter, Scoundrel. Sounds familiar. Long Hauler or File Not Found. Hang on. Let's throw up a poll. Give me a second. Hang on, hang on. I'm setting up the poll. They keep moving. Every time I go to move the, do the poll, they move the gun. Stop screwing with your interface, Twitch. So, file not found. Scoundrel. Bounty hunter. Long hauler. And I'll put it up for a few minutes here. But hang on. Before we even throw up the poll. There we go. Space Scoundrel. Good, bad. Whose right is it to say? If there's anything you've learned while traipsing through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of gray. Scoundrel gets pistols. Consider the popularity of this personal sidearm in the settled systems. Familiarity with such weapons is often considered essential. Piloting. Duh. And persuasion. In the settled systems, the nuanced ability to listen and discuss can often accomplish more than simply shooting first and ask questions later. Bard. Long hauler. Let those other hot headed pilots obsess over laser weapons and maneuverability. You're a trucker, pure and simple. Pack the cargo, get it there fast, get paid, repeat. Life is simple, life is good. You start with weightlifting, which can significantly increase your ability to carry weapons and equipment in space and ground. Piloting. And ballistics. While there have been significant improvements in shipboard weaponry, sometimes the simplest tool is the most effective. Then we have the Bounty Hunter. Wherever there are wanted individuals, there are Boba Fett's who profit from their capture. And your quarry knows in the vastness of space they can run, but they cannot hide. Piloting. Targeting control systems. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an intimate knowledge of tracking systems makes them more effective. And boost pack training. God, it really is Boba Fett. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Uh, oh, also, sorry. File not found. Oddly, there is no information on file about your past life. Clerical oversight? Deletion by some powerful unknown faction? Or is there just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is here and now on the path you're about to forge. You start with wellness, which, uh, by embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits, one may improve their overall sense of health, even gaining prolonged life expectancy. Ballistics, uh, on the ground, which is centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to a rival power of high-speed projectiles and piloting. Okay, let's set this poll up for five minutes. What do you think? I know what I would pick. Let's read some others while we're looking here. Xenobiologist. Fitness, surveying, and lasers. Sculptor, which gets geology, persuasion, and medicine. Ronin, which gets dueling, stealth, and scavenger. Scavenging is looting more, it looks like. For a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. Industrialist, security, 
which is hacking, and research methods by skillfully employing both new and time-tested methods. A researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights. Oh yes, Voot. Sorry, I should throw up the graphic. I haven't used that graphic in a while, have I? Where's the Voot graphic? Where are you, Voot? There you are, Voot. Voot! Homesteader. The discovery of the settled system's many oxygen-rich planets and moons meant humans could live anywhere if they had the know-how. You did! We start with geology, which is newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to incredible technological advancements. Surveying, we now have access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all the data while on the ground. And weightlifting. There we go. Gangsta. You're always disgusted by suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. Soon as you're old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky to have it. You gain shotgun certification, boxing, and theft. Diplomat, the wars are over. Peace now reigns in the settled systems, but only because there are those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words heated, lives spared. We get persuasion, which we already talked about, wellness, which we already talked about, and commerce. In the settled systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Cyber Runner, theft, security, stealth, pistol, medicine, wellness. Gastronomy. This is Chef. While the unrefined masses scoffed down chunks by the shipload, you catered to those with more discerning palates. In your kitchen, countless alien species become through culinary masterpieces. We get access to gastronomy, which uh, allows access to brand new worlds, meaning access to brand new ingredients. And almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. And dueling, because we're a chef. Don't think about it too much. We can also be a beast hunter, yeah, which is fitness, ballistics, and gastronomy. Bouncer, boxing, security, and fitness. I didn't read boxing. Once considered a sport of kings, boxing is still practiced as a recreational competitive activity, but its combat applications cannot be denied. That's a good question, TSP. But generally, yeah, it, it, it determines what you start with. That's one of the reasons why I almost always go with choose your own for the start, because I generally know what kind of things I want to pick. I'm a little weirded out. There is no choose your own here. Looks like about a minute left on the poll if you haven't vooted. Voot. I mean, I if you remember when we reviewed Oblivion, Oblivion got a plus for having classes because what they actually were was suggestions for people who had never played the game before. But then they also had the choose your own, which was exactly what it sounds like. Nothing, Ross. Well, almost nothing. Ooh, good question. Um, give me a sec to think about that, Crazy Horse. Obviously, I would pick piloting. That just feels like a really easy, obvious pick. Um, piloting... Oh, gosh. If I'm going to get three, I'd probably go with piloting, diplomacy. It's me. And... Got several I would want for my second, but yeah, I feel like weightlifting would probably be my third. Which, yeah, that tracks. That's just me. All right, so poll's almost over. Final countdown. do 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 Long hauler it is. That was going to be my pick. So, weightlifting, piloting, and ballistics. I'm not a big fan of ballistics, but weightlifting and piloting I'll take. So, traits. Now... There's a couple of these. These are the things I was most excited about when they were talking about the character creation when they were first showing it off during that one uh, not EA I covered. <laughs> Listen, ballistics are fine, but fuck, I'm saying. 
Alien DNA. You volunteered for a controversial experiment. By the way, these are all optional. That combines alien and human DNA. What is alien DNA in context? As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. You own a luxurious... I promised Golvig I would take this one. So, we're going to take this one. We own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Galbank that has to be paid weekly. You are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions like will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. The opposite will have the opposite effect. Extrovert. Cannot be combined with introvert. Why not? You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Ah! Freestar Collective Settler. You gain access to the special Freestar Collective dialogue options and better rewards in some missions, but crime bounty towards other factions greatly increased. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan. Oh, you know we gotta take this. Who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join the ship's crew and give you gifts. We have to take that. They brought back the actor, for God's sakes. We've got to take that. Come on. Introvert. We, yeah. Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at home, but you automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. What? It's just like real life. Um... You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from commissions. The crime bounty by other factions greatly increased. Cannot go any other allegiance. That's two allegiances. Yeah, I know. Having parents is locked behind a trait. And yeah, I noticed our jaws sticking out. Can we fix that? Can you... There we go. There we go. Okay, hang on. What's going on with my jaw here? Why is our jaw sticking out so much? BRPGs. BRPGs never change. So this is part of what I'm talking about. Let me demonstrate. So you see what I'm doing right here? You see the issue? This is me tapping down. The problem is it's taking the input from my mouse and my keyboard simultaneously. So the mouse is hovering over teeth, but the keyboard is trying to go down. This is part of what I meant when I say the controls are just a little bit wonky and feel a little bit more designed, like the mouse isn't even there. Like, they didn't really think about that. Uh, so where the hell was I? Jaw. That didn't seem to be changing much, honestly. I'll take that. Didn't seem to be changing anything, actually. Perfect. Now if we could get our mouth to go back, we'd be fine. We're going with Trucker, Walker. We got this. I'm just gonna have to live with that. Whatever. Back to traits. Hey, Cord. <laughs> Don't worry. I actually literally have bubble wrap right over there for packing. Um, I hope the surgery goes well tomorrow. I'm assuming that's tomorrow. Ah, thank you for reminding me. Didn't even realize it was there. No more vooding, ever. You grew up as a member of the Enlightened. We gain access to a special chest of items in the House of the Enlightened. But we lose access to the Sanctum Universum. We gain access to the Universum Sanctum. Sense of a trend here. You grew up worshiping the Great Serpent. 
which means grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. Like an addiction. I'm not addicted to jumping. You're addicted to jumping. Spaced. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased on the surface. Terra firma. The reverse. Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you have crew trained on a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health. Whatever damage below 50%. United Colonies Native. Gain special things, crime, and wanted. Someone put a price on your head. Word is spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but cornered, being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Let's do kid stuff. We have a dream home. We are a hero worshiper. And we have parents. We have gained parents. I like it. I like it. Can't wait to be in space debt. And then to type tilde, give item, F, 150,000. No, 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 no. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's us. We are not a she or a her. How do we change that? There we go. There we go. Okay. Do it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Haven't looked at your record in some time. Good qualifications. Being a long hauler is basically mining with more sitting down. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Actually, yes, Blade Javal. It's an old. Uh, thing. It goes back well before uh, Oblivion or anything like that. It's so that the code for it, the way they design the item tables is they kind of start with F and they work up from there. So it's generally the first item they added to the item table was money. Even though technically money is is... Hey, say something. Transacted differently. Um, it's still an item in terms of the game's programming. So F tends to be the first item they program in. Gold. Uh, so yeah, I, I just... Oh my god, I saw a dream, a vision. Cannot use number pads. Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. We're about to be killed for this. Here we go. Oh yeah. God, we look terrible. Alright, let's do it. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Okay. We have surveyed 80% of this planetoid. We have weightlifting. All right. You receive a skill point every time you level up. Each skill unlocks a challenge. Do challenges to rank up. I saw that in the teaser. Top row is basic, row below are required until you spend a few minimums. So we can't get um, things. There's piloting, so we can't do EM weapon systems yet. Damn it. I need to probably decide on what we're going to be focusing on next. We're going to go weightlifting, which is nice. Nutrition, or sorry, rejuvenation. Excellent. Natural healing. 
Yes, yes, I feel the healing flowing through me. All right, um, no, we're probably going to go with something like persuasion right there. Definitely crazy horse. Oh, yeah, and there's the yeah. leadership. <laughs> Instigation. Manipulation. Uh, force target alien creature to stop fighting for a limited time. That sounds useless. Force NPCs to obey your commands for a limited time. Have more active crew members. That all sounds completely useless. Companions carry more. Mandatory. Yeah, I feel like social is probably what we're going to start going down. But we should probably decide on what kind of gun we like. So we've got shotguns, pistols, energy weapons, melee weapons, and guns in general. We apparently can eventually get rifles. We have to go down the tier. We have to go even further down to get snipers. And heavy weapons. And bows and arrows. That's true. I've heard space isn't even real. Okay, this looks like the crafting tree. That looks like the killing tree. This looks like the ship tree, this looks like the talkie tree, and this looks like the carry tree, and also physical stuff. Okay. There's, yeah, there's just these, these whales. And for some reason, they keep spending way too much money on mobile games. I do like me some shotguns. Not gonna lie. There's uh, H2O here, and NI, and AR, and AL, and C6HN. Oh, benzene. Aluminum, argon, nickel, and water. That's, uh, yeah, that's a map. That's uh, definitely a map. Weak atmosphere, or sorry, weak magnetosphere. Thin CO2 atmosphere. No fauna, no flora, no... Water's safe. We can drink the water. Not what I'd call a map under normal circumstances. Oh, here's the planet we're on. And here's the system we're in. I want to conquer every planet on my screen here. Interesting. Uh, looks like that's a gravity map? That is a gravity map. That's definitely one way to do it. Look, I just want everything. Yeah, you see the gravity wells? Ooh, a lot of resources over there. Look at all those delicious resources. Yes! Yes! Hmm. I don't know, Pika. I haven't really actually seen the local map yet, to be completely honest. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... Well, now, hang on. There's Earth right there. So if we know Earth is there... No, just, just zoom in on it. Zoom in on it, please. I'm not trying to fast travel there. I'm trying to zoom in on it. Uh... Well, that... I, that's what V did in Oceans. Well, it's got a bunch of water up there. I'll have to mine the crap out of that. Um, and then there's the local map. So that's, uh... Terrible. 
How's our inventory look? That is so inverted from what I'm thinking. So it tells you what you have equipped, and then it tells you the category of the thing you have equipped. And you can select the category of the thing you have equipped. And that's just, that's going to take some getting used to, is what that, that is. We can save. BRB. Stamina, but you're not going to show me my stamina bar. Really, game? That's... <laughs> I've had to unlock the stamina bar. It's there, but I can't see it. You are extremely crazy, Ina Michel. I have so little experience with this game that I only bought it yesterday. F does nothing. F's in chat! Oxygen? Nah, we're fine on oxygen. Yeah, I can tell because... Um, I'm still breathing. Oh god, oxygen is not included. You're right! Can make it. Listen, Perrier is expensive, Flagand. I'm actually legitimately surprised it's letting me do this, especially before I've unlocked the stamina bar. But here we are. Made it. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 push the limits. Screw it. Yeah, they don't actually sell white versions of these pillows, but I really need the pillow there for my posture, blue pasta. So I just live with it. Wait, 
we have encountered something. Die, something. It's okay, we have fast travel. All we have to do is hit this button. Uh, oh, there we go. We, we haven't even gone that far. We're fine. All we have to do is... Um, fast travel is currently unavailable from this location. Exit the map. There you go. We're committed now. This is what we call sunk cost. some benzing over here. I think. What game? What? What? There's not even a, there's just a noise. What? to buy the update to the software to see the warning. <laughs> Where'd the miner go? Ah! Uh, did he take... Did he literally take the item and run? He realizes he's on a planet, right? There's nowhere he can run to. Boss, I don't know. He just said, Can I go to that mountain over there? And I, I thought he was talking to me, or may, maybe he's talking to you. I don't know. I, I felt awkward answering him, so I didn't say anything. And I turned around and he was gone. Is it something about the Reapers? I don't know. We continue to be able to keep going. This... This, this planet, my planet needs me. Ah, uh, okay, hang on. Let's, let's jot down some thoughts really quick. Ah. Uh. Oh, just nailing things to the original engine. Easy. Easy answer, Blue Monster. I mean, I've played No Man's Sky. I understand that it's actually possible to not run into an invisible wall and just keep going for such an inordinate period of time that it's, it's kind of bonkers. I've also played Minecraft. Ditto. There's an unknown over there. Not even that far, really. We're like maybe a third of the way to the edge of the map here. Oh god, I don't know which way. I think this is north. Hang on. Okay, yep, this is north. Yeah, it's actually really easy to make something ridiculous huge if it's empty and boring. We know this, after all, we've played Daggerfall. Yeah, I'm curious why the tunnel up effect goes through all the maps instead of goes back to the game. That's a really strange choice, Golgar. Not sure what that's about. I'm curious. This is 
the cat is cheating. Probably end it. I've talked several times about uh, drilling down and tunneling up. Not my terms. Um, anybody who's played pretty much any menu game ever knows what that means, because you hit one button to go further into a menu, and one button to back further out of the menu. A or B on the SNES, or Enter or Escape on most keyboards. Good luck, Luke. So, it's always kind of weird to me when games don't use proper tunneling design. doing. I literally rebound this earlier. Good news, Mike Kamano. It's called Death Stranding. There's a path. There's an honest-to-God path here. It's gone now, but still. We do have a planet warp core. Death Stranding is actually forbidden. Yeah, screw that nonsense. Oh, by the way, Death Stranding 2 is also forbidden. Before you ask. We have discovered Covered Crater. It was worth it. It was all worth it. I, okay. Well. This is my home now. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and put like a ladder up there, right? And then maybe get some turrets going? I don't know, something like that. How do you win this game? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to win this game. So the first way you win this game is you have to be very careful. It's very difficult, okay? It takes a lot of skill and effort in order to beat this game.
we not? Do we make it like five feet? Because I think that's the crater right there. Oh my god. Okay, no, we, we made a little bit. We made a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> A little bit further, a little bit further. Was I seriously like a minute too, too late? Yeah, it, where's my Minecraft auto jump key? Oh, absolutely, Ross. I'm going to play just Ocarina, not Master Quest, and that way the score will be higher, but it still won't be as high as Majora's. I've been putting actual thought into re adding Ocarina and Majora to the list. I really have. I'm not decided on that yet. Because, well, we have recent experience that way with the Marios and uh, arguably the Mega Mans as well. An audit certainly can precise the run a little bit, but really it was only micro changes, right? I did add Dread again, but Dread's short. That's the thing. If Ocarina Majora's were much shorter games, I, I wouldn't even think about it. That's the other thing. Mario 2 and Mario 3 were short. You notice we didn't do Sunshine again. All right. I'm actually figuring dinner out. I'm not just b being a dick, so I do apologize. But let's see if we can go further. Or would that be farther? Hand it off. The ordering thing. I haven't decided yet, Pika. That's the truth. All right, this. This looks promising. This is it. Someone Google really quick. Someone Google. What's the console command to change our movement speed? I know it exists because it was in Fallout Three. Not no clip. No clip removes uh, clipping. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. There we go. Much better. Oh, that's wild. Do you see that? So it looks like third person actually locks our movement speed. But first person doesn't. <laughs> uh, what's up? I love our limbs getting broken on god mode, as as is the norm. Okay, what do you want to bet? That up there is actually... Aha! We did it! We did it! 
We did. We also fast travel the ship. Oh, no, we can't. But we found the edge of the map. Yep, it's pretty much exactly where I thought it was going to be, too. We can't even see... The oh, my God, this game. Um, oh, I feel I feel accomplished. I feel so accomplished. Uh, hang on, where's, where's us? How do I see our broken limbs? Prognosis, poor. But what does it mean? What does it do? What, what's, what's the deets? What's the deets? See you around, Cord. There's no, there's no deets. What does it mean? <laughs> Fractured limb. Okay. What does that actually do? I have an acute dislocated limb. Okay. That's a good point. We should turn off God mode. But you know what we could do instead of that? Let's, let's head back. Let's head back. <laughs> it's Morrowind. It's just Morrowind all over again. This <laughs> it's loading as we go. We gained a sp oh I lost us. Oh god, where are we? Where are we? Oh there it is. I found it. Um 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 oh god Fractured limb became worse. the new guy where oh my god <laughs> okay let's turn off tgm oh yeah we're fine we're fine this is great everything's fine uh i may have overshot i've definitely overshopped um oh yeah i have total control in the air by the way because that's good oh and we're dead um. <laughs> uh, that's from Fallout. I forget it was three or New Vegas, but one of them you just you just have. Where am I? Oh, my God. Oh God, my speed is still okay. It's okay. Are we invincible still? That's the real question. Um, because if we're still invincible, it's, I'm I'm, so I'm I'm legitimately testing something. I'm not just screwing around. I mean, I am absolutely screwing around a little bit, but... See, I'm testing if it saves the state of your console commands at the moment it saves the game, because these games are actually inconsistent with how they do that. So, for example, that save was when we still had TGM on it. Looks like it's still on. Yeah, no, that... Well, no, we did lose a little bit of health. Hang on, hang on. Let's really go for this. There we go! Okay, so it does not save the state of the console, along with the state of the save. But it saved the speed. It's interesting. Or rather, no, I'm sorry, it didn't save the state of the speed. I'm misspeaking. It saved the fact that we were in the middle of movement. Um, okay, so... Go back to normal. There we go. Behold. All right, so now we just gotta head back. No, I'm not actually gonna make you suffer through that. I can check the VOD and verify that I quick saved right before I took off originally. I can prove that. So where is my quick save? It's 
F9 was immediately what I picked. In fact, it, I'll just prove to you really quick. Um, if you go over here to key bindings, quick save and quick load are on F5 and F9, as they should be. So, where's my save? Like, seriously, I saw the pop-up quick save made in the upper right. It's the specific reason why I felt safe doing what I'm doing right now. Accept everything that's happening right now. Uh, hmm. <laughs> um, we, uh, uh, uh. Once you could watch it rendering the terrain at the distance. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have reached over it. <laughs> it's okay, I can stop dead in here, see? Uh oh. Oh god, oh god, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. I just wanted to go to space! The game's called Starfield, I wanted to go to space! Okay, fractured limb is worse. I still don't know what that means. It's fine, Warcraft oh, code. It's fine. <laughs> it's just... God broke a bone. Uh, yeah, I have fractured limb, blue, contusions, red, and dislocated limb, blue. I have no idea what any of that means. I just, no, I'm not flying. I'm just really good at jumping. I'm a debt. Perfect. Do I have any credits right now? I should have checked. Um, I have zero credits. Twelve. Do the, they do not, Damashi. I cannot... Unless it's just not unlocked yet, because we can prove that there are parts of the interface we don't have unlocked yet. Nothing is telling me what those status effects actually do. Yeah, sure, fracture them. There's no mouse over here at all. There's no... There's no nothing. So, by all means, enlighten me. I'm a long hauler. Let those other hot-headed... Yeah, no, it doesn't... Actually, say anything. I need something a little bit more real. I'm I'm clicking all over the place over here. Nothing is happening. There's no mouse over, there's no click, there's no nothing. It's too gross, Ghost Rider. It's also technically a horror game, and horror games are by default vetoed. Any questions? Also, Death Stranding 2 is also vetoed. And if you want to know why, watch the trailer. It's bad. Yeah, it's it's bad. Yeah, so I see snap icon, bandage icon, and snap icon. That is not very good icon design, but that's okay. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think he's actually talking about the, the 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 artifact we interacted with, but that's actually rather appropriate given what just happened. 
<laughs> you want to trip up? Woo! Woo! I was gonna reload, Colgram, and then my save didn't exist. I also can't save in mid cutscene, apparently, which is a step back from Fallout. I was actually really impressed with that in Fallout 4. How would you know well, about that? You could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Hold on, what? My fractured limb has stabilized with time, apparently. Some money now. That's cool. You're all bad. You're yeah, you, you guys got this, right? Oh, you do got this, right? It's like 20 of you, and I got a pop cap. Somebody cover me! More you than there is me. This one's mine. Um. <laughs> They're not doing damage to him. Oh. I mean, I guess they are, but that is the definition of chip damage right there. That's impressively bad. Look at that. Look at that. They're just laying into him, and his health is like not budging. It's a mining laser. All right. I mean, laser, a mining laser sounds mean to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can damage rock. 
Granted, it's probably supposed to be more precise, but you know. Um, hang on. Also, apparently, does four damage per hit. Some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. So my options are... Yes. Yes. Hold up. And more info, please. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? No. Well, that's us. That's where we go. Okay. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. What? Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Right. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh, is it my HUD? Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. It's a yeah. watch. Questions? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. I can see that, King Duty 3. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. Sorry, I'll ask the questions out loud. I apologize. Who are you? What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out okay you, I'm, it over? I'm sorry are you giving me your ship technically it's not even mine consider it alone Vasco will keep you on course besides I'm making an exception since you can tell constellation about that vision you had so why shouldn't you go come on you're really not at all Curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Cool. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. You going? Staying around isn't helping us out any. I have a fractured limb. 
and a, and a uh, compass. Still can't mouse over this crap. I still know what it does, but, you know, we've got status effects now, so that's cool. Yeah, let's run. Yep, there's our stamina meter. We've unlocked the hut. All right, all right, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This intro sucks. Let's talk about this really quick, shall we? So. <clears throat> Bethesda intros are very hit and miss, in my opinion. Um, sometimes they kind of completely nail it. And sometimes they just fumble all over themselves. In my opinion, Oblivion, Fallout 3, and Fallout 4 all have very strong intros. Every single one of them is, uh, for reasons I will not go into detail on, something that they clearly put time, thought, effort, and work into actually making and make work, both on, an, on a story perspective and on a gameplay perspective. Um, and then there's Skyrim. <laughs> Fallout 2 was not Bethesda and a completely different type of thing anyways. Uh, but Skyrim is the best possible way to explain what the intro is that we just did. Todd Howard himself actually said this is Skyrim in space and when he's trying to sell it. And I believe him. The main character becoming the super amazing person of whatever and then being given resources to deal with that doesn't really bother me. Not really, to be honest with you. Instead, what I feel is more... The execution matters. You know me. The specifics of how they execute an idea is what really matters. So let's actually go through this sequentially. All right, so we're a miner, mining some stuff. Uh, there's been a special order to grab a specific unique item from an unusual organization. Okay, cool. Not too bad. Um, Morrowind's intro we'll talk about when we review Morrowind. We're going to leave that for there because Morrowind's kind of a weird one. Morrowind arguably doesn't even really have an intro. How do you do the Dr. Evil pinky? Anyways, um, <clears throat> but we'll get to that later. We'll get to that. We'll get to it. So, we, we're being sent in there because we're exposable, expendable, and disposable. Cool. That makes sense. It interacts with us, and it's like, oh, God. Uh, okay. Now, now we have, we're connected to this damn thing. We have a character creator. Odd place for it, but they like to pull their tricks. That doesn't bother me too much. And, oh, act like Jeff Bezos. Hmm, I don't find it acceptable that these other peasants are daring to drink water on the job. That is company water, and you will pay for every sip. How's that? Hi, Rax. So... <clears throat> So we get the thing, and we're zapped. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this. It, like I said, it really is the Mass Effect 1 thing, right? Now, in Mass Effect 1, we were a bit more of a character before we jumped down there, but it still fits. I'm still with it. So we interact with the thing. It beams into us. We're special for some reason. None of this bothers me. The dialogue is a little bit drab, however. And then when you go up to the surface, they're like, okay, we're going to go ahead and deliver this thing and figure out what's up after you literally passed out grabbing an artifact, which is giving no one else any other issues. No one questions this. No one reacts to this. Everyone just acts like you just decided to order McDonald's, right? That's the level of tone and reaction that people have to this kind of thing. It's completely bog standard normal. So any impact or significance of the moment is completely lost. Then we go outside, miss a cutscene because I'm screwing around and the game didn't quick save properly. Whatever. We're going we're to walk past that. It's on me. And it's like, hey, what's up? And this guy shows up and he's got a decent vibe to him. But then we're attacked by pirates. Okay, this still works. So then we're actually attacked by pirates. Our companions are completely useless. And um, that's I just <laughs> cool. We push, push away through the pirates. They're a joke, of course. But the problem with the pirate encounter is it's the most bare bones of tutorial. It's the exact same mechanically as that first rat in Oblivion. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, cool. The off chance you don't actually know what I'm talking about. Um, 
Yeah, no, I, that's what someone told me earlier. Your avatar, which is just... Um, sure, game. So that one rat, that first rat, which is there to teach you this is what combat is. It's a ba bare bones thing. And trying to have some kind of visual presentation to it doesn't really bother me. But the problem is everyone in that entire sequence is is pissing themselves about how terrifying it is that the freaking Crimson Raiders are showing up. And we mow through them like they're not even there. That's not great. So we've already got, it's starting to fall apart a little bit. Then it's like, okay, so, hey, you're the chosen one, have my ship, and I'll stay behind. Okay, cool. And I know that's a bit of a, an exaggeration, but the fact that it's not that much of an exaggeration is what is when the intro finally falls apart for me. The whole thing has actually been fine, if uninspired, up until that last conversation. Because it's like, hey, we have a spaceship. Um, sh ships are expensive? I don't know if you know that. Even in this game, actually, ships are pretty expensive. And it's like, oh, God. And um, the, uh, the fact that he just decides to stay behind in our stead and be a miner in, in order to cover it, which is already kind of weird. So that's, that's problem number two with that. And then she's totally cool with us just leaving, even though one of the things they list as a specific concern is the fact that they're worried that the Crimson Raiders will come back. Now, it's possible the Crimson Raiders are tracking the ship, not the planet, but you cannot tell me that the Raiders won't hit the planet that they already know where it is and not do something more about the Raiders. Like, you, no, you get my point, though, Kimmick. None of this is stated. What the conversation probably should have been is something along the lines of, all right, look, kid, we've got a bit of a problem. Um, the Raiders know this place now, and they're probably going to hit it again, and these people have no ability to deal with that. And i got to get you back to the rest of Constellation pronto. So we're going to do a bit of a patchwork job here, okay? You're going to take my ship. Yeah, and then uh, it's alone. It's not your ship. You're going to take the ship. You're going to head back. You're going to talk with the people who are going to figure this out. I'm going to stay here with X, Y, and Z, made up stuff here, in order to try and get some freaking defenses going. I see that turret over there. It doesn't even... Doesn't look like it even fired during that bat that firefight we just had, so I'm gonna go try and see if I can get that sucker fixed up and maybe get a few more detector grids going so we can see him coming. There you go. Fixed. But none of that's what happened. Instead, we're the chosen one. And go take my ship. Goodbye. And way too much emphasis on space, which just is falling flat for me completely. Not impressed. Hi. Right. Let's go get our ship. Because let's be honest, this is our ship. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep talking about this. We could point to other games because plenty of games need to get the player into a specific spot. They need to get the player away from support to explain why the player is doing stuff, um, and not like an army or a fleet. They need to give the player the support to do the things that they need to do, because otherwise they're screwed, and they need to make it make some degree of sense, right? I feel like this fails at all three, personally, but if I can jump into another another perspective here. Um, perspection, really? Uh, I'm reminded of KOTOR 1. Now, KOTOR 1 is not actually the greatest game ever made in the history of the Ever Ever, but KOTOR 1 did earn these pieces very, very well. They tried sending a giant fleet in order to accomplish their goals, and all it did was drive the attention of the Sith to the fleet and to the nearby civilians. So they immediately realized they have to do this quietly. That's why we're given just one little ship and one small crew to do the rest of the events of the game. The fleet and army are off doing stuff the entire time. They're kind of fighting a you know, intergalactic war. And, um, I can't remember the third thing. Oh, yeah, and the reason we're special is obviously because of the fact that, you know, we can access the Force. And, no spoilers, no spoilers, but you get the point, right? So, all three points are established relatively quickly. You're a unique Jedi, you are well-positioned to interact with this MacGuffin thing that we need to figure out what's going on with, and we need you to do it quietly. Boom, boom, boom. It does take until Don Tween to actually establish all that, 
but it is well done. Mass Effect 1 does actually pretty much the exact same trick. Uh, after you go through the Citadel sequence, you have the backing of the um, of the Council by being turned into a Spectre, which isn't something that happens out of nowhere. We're a well-established person with a huge crew who is already being considered for Spectre status. And then the events of the game happen, and that's the final push to push us over the line. Cool, that makes sense. Being a Spectre also gives us the ability to operate in the unknown regions and do stuff that nobody else can. And we are actually given a ship by Earth because this is a political ploy by EarthGov in order to try and push against the Council space. Again, makes perfect sense. All three points are established quickly and efficiently. I know I just listed two Bioware games, but what do you want from me? Also, yeah, is, is anybody else getting some just serious Star Wars vibes from this music? Not a bad thing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We also had an entire quest chain to establish ourselves and get that promotion to Spectre status on Citadel. So, earned in all three cases. I feel like this intro wouldn't bother me. Notice I'm actually only giving one negative to the intro. I feel like this uh, intro would work a little bit better with a polishing pass on one specific thing, and that is the dialogue. And I've noticed the biggest problem with all of this is the dialogue. Most, if, if you, I know this sounds strange, remove the dialogue for just a second from the sequences that have happened and just look at the narrative structure events. Minor, trying to go down, sent in as expendable, gets the thing, brain zap. Okay, cool, wake up, sent to turn, to turn it in to the people who are going to pay for it. Pirates attack, oh crap, swap, take ship, leave. None of that has any real issues with it, not really. It's the specific dialogue in between that, that that's cushioning, that's the skeleton, uh, the meat of that dialogue, which is which is the main problem here. I have played No Man's Sky. I have played No Man's Sky three times actually. Once when it came out, when it sucked. Once a bit later, when it was better, and once about last year, when it was really good. It's true, Miss Cletus. Cletus, the slack jaw yuckle. Just the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. I do like the ship. I don't like the stutter. It appears you are the new captain. I can save now. Hey, I can save. Is it there? Okay. I see a quick save. So that's good. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have to check something. Going through. I'm sorry. Absolutely, Damashi. I think No Man's Sky is in a much better state than it used to be. Trust me, I've played it several times. My niece asked me to help her something with something just now, right? It's okay, though. She offered payment. And it's gold. You tell because how shiny it is.
<laughs> That's right, I've hit the big time, everybody. Ah, she overpaid. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I'm assuming you're saying that because I have the piloting skill, because otherwise, why would you assume that I know that? I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. I will say the level of detail on the brickwork in here is absolutely insane. Like, to kind of a ridiculous degree, honestly. It's probably why this game was like, what was it, 90 gigs or something like that? Look at this for a second. Take, just take that in for a moment. And now watch as I destroy. Oh, never mind. Like this, this ship interior is crazy good. Look at that. Look at that. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Okay. Probably not intentionally, no, my poor blade. Okay, I was kind of hoping to actually fly the ship. But then again, I was I was thinking No Man's Sky, so that's my fault. There. Okay. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Yes, how do I loot, please? You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. How do I loot? Let me alert! E, okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I like the gun sound, Euro. What's point? and fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain.
rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Yeah, so to be clear, do I not have ammo? I just have energy. That's fine, that's abstracted. I'm just I just want to make sure I'm clear about that. sound weird, but I don't mind that. Not really. I don't mind some arcadiness when it comes to that. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I feel like I would prefer to be able to keep track of that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's not its not the kind of thing I'm going to ding the game for. As long as the three weapon types actually behave differently, that's fine. You know? Alright, time to AFK again. No, no, no. I'm just jotting down some notes here really quick. Oh yeah, it's... Maybe they backed off, because I will admit, one of the biggest things I didn't like about Fallout 4 was the, um... the fuel for the armor. I was never a fan of that. And I feel like it could have worked if they did it differently, but they didn't, and instead it just kind of sucked. My opinion. Yeah, exactly. Fusion cells last five minutes. What? Remember, at launch in Fallout 4, there was a finite amount of fusion cells, too. Now, they later fixed that, and mods fixed that, but come on. I figured, Gavitor. Sorry, I'm jotting down some quick thoughts. Please forgive me. I know, Plutonia. It. I stand by what I've said many times. There's a lot of different ways that they could have made the early power armor work. I stand by one of my best ideas, which was they give you a power armor frame at the beginning, which you can't even use, right? And then as you progress through the game naturally in both side quests, uh, vaults, MSQ, just random mobs, you know, it, it basically everywhere, litter everywhere, parts, right? Pieces that you can graft onto the existing frame you've already got and make it so that at a certain point, either in, if you just follow the MSQ, you eventually get the final part that allows you to have a functional power armor or just have it in the world so the player can go and find their own pieces to make their own fire armor. And then you earn the damn thing, and you can also customize it as you're going. That would have worked awesome, I think, if you got rid of the damn fusion core, because that was always stupid. And yeah, fall, yeah, pretty much. Fallout 1. L a few more steps, but still, Fallout 1. Um... Alright, 
let's figure out how to go there. Yeah, they're a completely different game, Ross. Games, Ross. Well, let me walk that sentence back. They're the same core mechanics, engine, gameplay, but you have different kits, dungeons, bosses, etc. Different content. Completely honest, I don't like that. But I'm not sure if that's negative worthy or not. We'll see what I think of it long term, you know, Michelle. Um, I will admit, I always liked the abstracted fly around space system when it's super shrunk. I can think of several examples of that. I can't think of the name of one of them off the top of my head, of course. It was a Switch game. Uh, someone help me out. I even streamed it. Of course, I can't think of the name of it right now. I'll use another example Dyson Sphere program. Uh, Starlink, that's it. So, Starlink does this. Dyson Sphere Program does this. Outer Wilds definitely does this. That kind of approach has always... What What are you doing? I need to finish work. Sorry. I give you scritches. Scritch, 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 scritch. Scritch, 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 scritch. And then I give you tuna. What? You're a cat. You're supposed to like fish. Have the fish. This is a regular fish. Everyone tell her. Tuna's a regular fish, right? No, I, I like fish from the water. Oh, yeah, Freelancer did the same thing, too. I like fish from the water. Okay, here's a water fish. Sploosh. 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 Got it. How is it? Excellent. More. More. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, don't eat my hand. My hand's not the fish. I was holding out the fish for you. 
Oh, hugs. My hand is back. Uh, Wait, don't eat my hand again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I got you. Well, no, I don't got you. You're falling off me. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no escape. Ah. Yeah. I'm too Wow. Yeah. So, we need to go down to the planet there. Do you think we should? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, hang on. Let's see what other planets are out here first really quick. So we got that. The ones with the rings over there. Do you see that one? Mm-hmm. And are there any other planets around here? Oh. Whoa, so... It was so bright. What's that? No, it's just a cloud. It's just a cloud. There's so much clouds. There are. Why are there so many clouds in space? Uh-oh. Is that the sun over there? Yeah. Ah, don't worry about that. It's live in space. It's fine. Oh, hey, there's Lavos. Check it out. Right there. You see him? Let's go to Lavos Planet. To Lavos Planet. Quick, fix, fix the ship, fix the ship. I'm not. Why not? I fixed them with my feet. Are you the alien? No. You're the alien. Uh oh, we crashed it. We're gonna crash into a board. Oh, oh god, where's the planet? Where's the planet? There it is. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We found it. Boom, boom. Oh god, we're still crashing. Why are we still crashing? We no. crashed into the planet. <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. It's okay. We can hug each other back to life. Hug. Zombie. Oh my god, she's turned into a zombie! I am now also I a zombie. Zombie mode has been engaged. I'm sleepy. How do I land? Uh, I don't know. How do we land? Are we going back? We're trying down? to go. Wait a minute. I know how we land. We, we crash. We hug. Uh, we scan the planet. I I definitely know how to scan the planet. Oh no, the planet's gone. We did it. The planet is gone. It's okay. We found the planet. Let's scan it. Okay. It has a trait. I don't even know what that means. All right. Treats. We've got a we've got to set our land target, which is probably we can't just probably land anywhere, can we? Oh no, we can land anywhere. Nice. Let's land. <laughs> no, don't land there. We landed on a cloud. Let's land on this island. See if it lets us. Bounce, 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 bounce. I'm trying to fix your zombiness. Heal, 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 heal. Oh no. What's wrong? Are you now a zombie again? Oh, you are not to be a zombie anymore? We're gonna turn to you more. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We've got, we've got rock, uh, I can't remember what the boosters, rocket boosters. We're okay. We landed on the planet. What? But what if we, t what if the spaceship touched the spiky things? Oh my god, we are so far away from our destination, we can't even see it. So it actually really did just let us land in the middle of nowhere. Okay, hang on. So let's let's go over here. Let's go over here. Oh, oh no, we're dead. Oh no. Uh, I'm a zombie. I am also. Wait, why are you eating me? I am also a zombie. I'm not. I'm sleeping. Okay, sleeping zombie. Sleeping, wake up, zombie. Uh -oh. Wake up, dance. Wake up, dance. Wake up, dance. Wake up, dance. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> You are so silly. Why are you so silly? I would say, wake up, dance, wake up, dance, wake up, dance. Ooh, look, we have a cup. Uh, let's drink. <laughs> there we go. We drunk this. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, that was such a big burp. I'm going to have to destroy you now. Wait, no. there's a sandwich. Should we eat it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> hang on, hang on. No, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're trying to eat the sandwich. It's very difficult to eat a sandwich. Okay, here we go. Um, um, 
Yeah. We've eaten the sandwich. Oh, we can eat some apples too. Oh no. Why is the apple a cube? Don't answer that question. Eat the apple. Uh, let's eat the cereal. Let's eat the choco bites. We're gonna eat everything here. Let's get up. Yeah. And then eat and then eat the world. We're eating the world? Yeah. But we have to wash our hands first. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I have to wash my hands. I do them super fast. Oh my gosh, why are you so quick quick about this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was quick. That was very quick. Should we get some coffee too? I'm thirsty. Is it good? Excellent. All right, we've got our coffee, we've got our breakfast, we got our sandwich, we got our apple. Anything else we need? Uh, it's a hot day today. It is. We need something to cool us off. Do we have a fan? I don't Let's think see. so. Let's make one. Let's see if we can make a fan. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Well, the next time we need to go in a, in a, in a, in a. Yeah. What else can we get? What else we got? Um. Let's get a drink too. Ooh, a good idea. Let's get some drink. What do we got? They've got heel paste. That sounds good. It goes heel, heel, heel. Blech. No, that wasn't what heel paste is supposed to do. Um, I smather more heel paste on you. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Wait, you're still dead. Why are you still dead? You got rubbing on you. Oh, okay. Tickle heels. No. No, rub. Oh, okay. Rub, 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 rub. Is that better? <laughs> Are you a zombie now? No. Oh, thank goodness. I was I, worried for a second. I was, I, when, when you healed me, I was like this. But now, you are like this. I'm, I'm putting water out. Wait, you're shooting water? I thought you were frozen. I wasn't. Oops. That the ice turned into water. I sucked it up and then. Oh, I see. I, ow. <laughs> and then I. I see. Shoot the water up into the air. Nice. What? No, no, not the ceiling's water. Wait, why is the ceiling water? Let's pick the water up. All right, hang on. Shh. Getting into those tight pipes up there, you see them? Shh. Get them into the. Into the sky. Wait, hang on. The sky's outside. We gotta go outside to shoot him in the sky. Let's go outside. I got him back on. Okay, here we go. I'm listening, Zar. Okay, you ready to shoot water? Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm doing it on the planet. We, we gotta, we gotta water the, the plant. growing even bigger. It is. And I ran out of water. That's okay. We'll get some more. Here, look. Here's some steam from the water. Ah, oh, yeah. Just absorb. 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 I take all the water. Oh, my God. Not all of it. I take all the water you don't get. Oh, okay. So, like, all the water we don't need. But what I about all this mud? We might step in the mud and get stuck. No. I might also defeat the bad guys. Die, bad guys. Die. You don't. Oh, they're not bad guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Please forgive me. Heal, 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 yep. Heal. Yep. They're definitely healed now. We gotta keep watering. Gotta keep watering. You see any other plants? Mm-hmm. Where? Where? Right there. I see him. You ready? Look out for spiky plants. Uh, is this a plant? This doesn't look like a plant. What is this? It looks like, it looks like a rock cave. Oh, I see. Oh, look, the plant grew some fruit. You see it? Let's pick it. Uh, it's not actually letting me. Oh, there it goes. Nope, we got it. We got it. See? Let's eat it now. What does it taste like? An apple. Ooh, delicious apple. Not an apple, though. But it's not? I feel cheap. I want an apple. Uh, let's go get another apple from inside. I don't think they have any more apples inside. We can ask if they have any apples. Be careful, Captain. Yeah, but 
Yeah, let's go see who lives in there, shall we? Do I have to get really close to scan? Do I have to get extremely close? Is it already partially scanned? Do we need another sample to scan? Whee! See? I have all these questions. <laughs> we're, we were flying! We do like flying, don't we? Yeah. And, and last night... And last night... Oh, we gotta ask for water. We forgot to ask, or no, for for an apple. We've got to, we forgot to ask for the apple. Okay. We've gotta go ask for the apple. Why are you sleeping? It's morning. You didn't get any. You, you just got I was a I was sleep. running all night. I didn't get any sleep. I was trying to get up here so I could ask these people for an apple. All right, it looks like a big building. Look at that place. It's a research lab, apparently. But how? Oh, ice crystals. That's right. We're going to get their ice crystals, and we're going to use that to make apples. Uh, how do we make a frozen apple? With ice and apples. How do you make an ice and apple? Well, first you take some ice, and then you take some apple. So, like, ice. Okay. I don't got and any. And then apple. And then you I go. I don't got an apple. <laughs> and then there you go. You have a frozen apple. You do, though. No, no, just pretend. Just pretend. This is just the money. Oh, I gave you money? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Give me that money. No. <laughs> this, mo this money is for the store. Oh, that's a good place to have money. Let's go to the store. Okay. Let's go into the store. Huh, why is it coming back? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Hello, we're here to buy an apple. Yeah. Hello? I don't see anything. Do you see anybody? Space. It then stands to reason that that it's bad. water, I think. Let's get some water to make an apple. Because, what? because apples are juice. Because apples... Because apple juice tastes like water. Mm, I do like apple juice and water. So, let's get water. We have gained an affliction. I'm sorry, what? We're dead. Oh, we're dead. We we turned into a healing zombie. It's healing zombie. Heal, 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 heal. Heal, heal, heal. It's good. We actually killed. Yes, we did. But it's okay. Heal, heal. Boom, 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 boom. All boom, kinds boom. of stuff. Look at all this stuff. Boom, so boom, many things boom, to boom. heal here. I'm, I'm healing your chair. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, why is my chair getting healed? Get no, my chair! Boom, 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 you killed my chair! I I actually healed it. Oh, okay. Thank you for healing my chair. You're very helpful. Heal. I healed you. Wait, I get healed too? Yeah, because you were dead. Aww. Heal. <laughs> I healed myself. You're not allowed to heal yourself. I am. Die, monster! With the laser weapon that works just fine against people. Wait, we're, 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 we're evil people. Let's step on them. Step, 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 step. <laughs> hey, we can jump on them. Let's jump. <laughs> Why do you have lasers on your feet? Well, you see, my feet are secretly made of laser shooters. Uh, why? Well, that's a really good question, and the mystery of that is what we're trying to figure out. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like my missing coin. Exactly. So, why do you think we have lasers on our feet? Hmm. Be because you wrote that way? That's true. Someone built me that way. Why did you build me with lasers on my feet? Why did you do this to oh, me? Oh, no. The world is, is being destroyed. Oh. The world exploded. Uh, we're dead again. Why do we keep dying? We need more health. Mm -hmm. Let's get more before I go. What's a terror morph? Wait, are you sleeping now that you're dead? I'm not. Oh, okay. Good. I am, I'm not dead. I'm 
Good. Are you killing me too? No. Are you healing me? Now you're dead. But I heal you. Gotta get all that heal paste all over your face. <laughs> I already got it all over it. Excellent. Now my face is purple. Why is your face so purple? Why did it become purple down there? <laughs> because, because of that. Oh, okay. Now my face is But why is it purple? It was green. It's not? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. okay. Purple, I like purple. Ooh, purple. Look at that purple thing. Yeah, Zara still hasn't actually suggested a negative. I turn my head this way. Why do you turn your head? Because I'm a robot. You are a robot, beep boop. Hug, ro Hug mode yeah. engaged. Hug deployed. Hug disengaged. Backwards hug engaged. <laughs> Backwards Scritches hug. mode has been engaged. Scritch, 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 scritch. Scritches are not logical. Discontinue scritching immediately. You're still scritching. Why have you not disengaged scritch mode? Scritch, scritch, scritch. Uh, death mode engaged. Hug mode engaged. Let's see if we can find it. My, my pet kitty. Wait, you're a cat now? No, my pet kitty. Oh, okay. Got she, it. she always is running around after her nap. Oh, that makes perfect sense. And she never eats. These people over here, I don't think they like your cat. No. Oh, there might be some more bad guys up here. What do we do with them? Let's, let's clean them off. Okay. Find more bad guys. There's one. A bad guy. Now fling it. He. He. It was like sliding. That's true. They're, he's dead. He's not dead. He's just taking a nap. Why? Because he's really tired. A bad guy. Where? It's it a robot. The enemy Robots aren't bad guys. <laughs> That robot was dancing. Uh, this guy. He's a bad guy. Okay, he's taking a nap now. Now nap. we're taking a nap. Nap mode engaged. It's nighttime. Nighttime mode engaged. Preparing to implement. Daytime mode. Let's go have breakfast. Breakfast mode. Re-engaged. Would you prefer eggs or pancakes? Oh. Pancakes, please. Pancakes, mode engage. Here you go. Thank you. Um, yum, yum. Uh. Uh. <laughs> we could make you. I heard. Oh, okay. Provided you oh, had some digi pics and a disregard for personal property rights. Play for a little bit. We cannot play. We have to hack. Okay, you ready to hack? We have to use our amazing hacking powers. We have to select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps. Okay. I. There's no keys around. Oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, one of those games that forces me into a mature rating on Twitch. Like, I can't undo that. It forces mature rating. I'm curious why? Like, what in any I Bethesda game? I got I got a key in my pocket. Oh, okay, go ahead and get your key. What Bethesda game would require a mature rating, right? Like, that's just weird. Mm. There. Yeah. Here's yeah, the key. a key. Thank you. All right, let's use the key. You ready? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Um, There's a lock on this one. Okay, how do we... We we got to use the key. How do we... Do things? Um, I, I used the key. We're right. out. How do I do anything? Oh, there we go. There we go. Things I... have been figured out. I used the key. Is it going to work? Mm-hmm. Hang on, so... Uh-oh, we're, we're sort of trapped in a cage. It's okay, we can fix it, because all we have to do is do that. Uh, does, does it have a keyhole? But it does! Check it out. Ooh, legal tender encoded. Non... Does that say non-volatile graphite oh, currency? Oh, that... The key doesn't have a round... It, it has... A 
diamond hole. Let's find the diamond key. Okay, let's see if we can find the diamond key. I I I already I already got a key. Where did you get that? <laughs> From my pocket. Oh. Can I get that out now? Yeah, sure. I release you into the sky. More. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? No. Oh, okay. Put me down. Into the wall. No, down. Oh, okay, down. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got something else too. What did you have in your pocket? Ta-da! Trash. <laughs> it's not trash. What is it? Well, I want to keep it. Okay, you can keep it. That's up to you. Well, I will allow it. Well, I like the shiny one. They are pretty shiny. I still got the one you gave me. Right there. Well, it's mine forever. Oh my gosh, bad guys. Oh my gosh, kill it. Frontier has a new Play captain. It. Are you, you sure we should kill Barrett, him? Or did you pry mm -hmm. the ship keys okay. out of his cold, dead hands? Or we, we should put him to sleep. Okay, let's put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this will be fun. Song. Okay, what song should we sing? I'm thinking, baby no, shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. Twinkle, twinkle, little pirate, how I wonder why you are. I can't sing. Not a Oh, he's asleep. We did it. It worked! He did sleep on the bike. We did it! Let's get, Let's get him into a better place right now. Stop running! Right, so. He has fire on him. He's fine. He's fine. Alright, so. Yeah. The bad guy you, you tried to get fire on. No, seriously, not. We're out. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's take him to some place where we can have a nice long nap, okay? Mm-hmm. Like down there. Exactly. There we go. There we go. Sleep tight. All right, so. We can just travel to the ship. Going to space. Why are people shooting at us? I am hit. Maybe be, because we're doing bad stuff? We're not doing bad stuff. We're the good guys. Watch. Go to sleep. Uh, uh, maybe. Well, we, he's asleep. He's asleep. We, we, but we gotta be quiet so nobody wakes up. Oh, that's a good point. Alright, everyone, we need to be a little bit more quiet. We're gonna sneak our way up here. Sneak, 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 sneak. Whoop, whoop. Hang on, we woke someone up. We woke someone up. He's really uh, upset at us for waking him up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, I'll help you get back to sleep. Get back to sleep. Get back to sleep. Okay, keep on back to sleep. Whew, thank goodness. Right, now we gotta run to the ship. We can make it. We can make it. Captain, Just really quiet. To reach the launch, we we're must the ship. To what do we do? Planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature. Of we're going to space. We're going to space. Don't worry. The ground's fine. The ground's super strong. Have you ever stepped on the ground? The ground's just like, nah, I got you, fam. Now we're in space. On that note, I think we will go ahead and cut off here. Tomorrow at roughly 9 a.m. But what if Bigfoot steps on it? It's okay. Bigfoot has a big foot, but not that big. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What if family has big feet? Oh my god, what's going to happen if Bigfoot's family steps on them? Okay, it's okay. The ground will only break a little bit. Cool. But, but then it will crack more. 
Four? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. I bet we're gonna wake a planet. Did you say goodbye, stream? Mm-hmm. Say it, say it, say it. Ice cream. No, say bye, stream. Bye, stream.